Yo, how is it going everybody? Welcome to my 100% playthrough of Breath of the Wilds. I have been a Zelda YouTuber for about 10 years now. And while I've been a YouTuber for Zelda, <laughs> two 3D Zelda games have come out. Skyward Sword, back when I was in high school still, like 10 years ago, like that was like right when I started making videos. And the other was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilds, which has actually become the biggest Zelda game in the whole entire world. It's sold more than any other Zelda game so far by like a crap load. It's literally insane. And for some reason, I have never made content over the game on the internet before. But at the same time, I'm okay with that because I've, I've played the game two times. I played the game one time when it came out. I was in college and I was working as a server at a Japanese hibachi restaurant. And I wasn't playing too many video games when the game came out, but I do remember getting a whole week off of work so I could play Breath of the Wild instead of work because it was like the first Zelda game that came out in forever that I was truly, truly excited for. I think I beat around three of the Divine Beasts and that was it. Cause then I ended up having to work again and I just got really like swept up into life in general. And then a couple years ago, when I got situated into moving into California, I played through Breath of the Wild one more time and I beat the game, but I didn't do any of the side quests or DLC. And now it is finally time that I truly play this game the way that I normally play Zelda games, which is as thoroughly as possible. I am going to be 100% in Breath of the Wilds, which means I'm going to be doing all of the shrines, which I've never done more than like 70 of the shrines. So there's like 50 shrines in the game I've never even seen before. I'm going to be doing all the Korok seeds, which I don't think I've ever gotten over 100 Korok seeds. All the DLC, which I haven't seen any of the DLC. Uh, I've never beaten the Master of the Sword. Is that what it's called? The, the Trial of the Sword? That thing. Uh, the one thing that I am going to be doing, though, is I'm going to be very strategic with my organization of collecting Korok seeds. So I am not going to be collecting Korok seeds naturally as I play the game. I'm going to be holding off on those and then revisiting them with a full list of each area and tackling each region separately. So I can have like a really good... There's just so many of them and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to have really good organization and do them all at the same time and just make it like a fun little challenge. Anyways, let's go ahead and switch to the game. We gotta immerse ourselves into this. I deleted literally all of my save data for Breath of the Wild. None of it is remaining there. So I have no choice but to start a fresh file. Everything I've done in the game, wiped out. This is my official experience of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Child. This child still hasn't learned how to brush his teeth yet, so it's kind of stinky. But you know, my commentary kind of stinky. <laughs> it's kind of stinky. I don't know what stinky commentary is, but my commentary is a little bit stinky. <laughs> Nintendo Presents. Nintendo's practically Santa Claus. The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Child. Uh-oh, stinky. It literally starts out with you coming out of the womb. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening right now. This is what I experienced when I came out of the womb. The nurse spoke to me and said, open your eyes. And then she started spanking my bum. And that's where my kinks came from. That damn freaking nurse. How dare she? Damn, this is like way too bright right now. Open your eyes. I need sunglasses to play the to play a Legend of Zelda game. Open your eyes. Damn, this feels like that time I got LASIK eye surgery. I'm just shining a bunch of bright lights in your it's face cosmic. while your eye is like held open for five minutes straight and you can't blink it. It was a very uncomfortable time. I hope somebody changed my bath water. 
You know, if no one changed that, we should keep that and sell it. Bath water that he's been marinating in for over a hundred years? There's a lot of freaky people on the internet that would pay big money for that. You know, Breath of the Wild Link is that version of Link that I think everybody is a little bit attracted to because his body type is a little bit anamorphic. Like, he doesn't... He, he could pass as a... He kind of does pass as a girl, obviously. He does pass as a girl later when he wears the Gerudo clothes. This version of Link is the version of Link that even straight guys are like, hmm? You know? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, here we go. Let's explore the chamber. <laughs> like a Link just grabbing air. Ah. What is, what, is he, what is he grabbing for? I can jump? Stand it in my tub. Okay, we gotta take some pictures. This is iconic. That's not the picture button. Oops. Capture taken. I can't go into actual photo selfie mode yet. I need my slate. Give me my slate. I really hope that someday Nintendo sells a Nintendo Switch that looks just like the Sheikah Slate. That is a Sheikah Slate. They totally could do that, like build the body around the around the switch to have like the texture and vibe. Like you can have cases that make it feel like that, but how much cooler would it be if it was actually like designed to be a Sheikah slate? Like that'd be next level. All right. I've always wondered, are the things on the side of Link's hair, are those just super long sideburns? I don't officially know what you would call that. It seems like a really weird facial hair option you would find in a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. Damn, that sound design. It's so quiet. You know, look at all the constellations on the walls. Do you think one of them is Tucana? I think this one is right here. I can, that's definitely a Toucan constellation right here. I can see it. <laughs> no, every single constellation I've ever seen has required the biggest stretch of the imagination in the whole entire world. So I can deem that as a Toucan, okay? We got ourselves some trousers. I think that means we're in the UK, right? I think only people in the UK call them trousers. And an old shirt. All right, let's put it on. Our shirt isn't long enough. You can still see a little bit of our, our midriff. It's gonna be chilly. Link is going to be very annoyed by that. I, mean, I remember the very first time playing this game and running through this little opening stretch. Show you the just being so excited. Now we all know what to expect, but the very first time, like, do you guys remember the very first time you played Breath of the Wild and, like, the emotions you were feeling? Like, Zelda games have straight up given me some of the strongest emotions out of any video game I have ever played. The big door. Why is this door gotta be so complex, huh? <laughs> I swear. That's one of the great things about the Zelda worlds, though. They all have a very odd level of complexity, but you are the light. Na they're a good mixture Our of complexity and nature. That must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Whoa, that's the light of high rule. Does that mean we're about to come out of high rule's womb? Okay, we're coming out of high rule's vagina. We're almost there. I see the opening. It's gotta push harder. Congratulations. It's a link. <laughs> Views. Has somebody edited a picture of Drake sitting on the edge of the plateau? Like it's album cover for Views, but the Hylian edition? Somebody needs to like change a bunch of hip hop covers to Hylian edition and like show what it would look like if those albums were made in Hyrule. 
Ooh, is that the grand pussy? <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not just say that. <laughs> Look at all the land formations in the background. Whoa, does someone take a freaking bite out of that mountain over there? Look at, someone took a bite out of that mountain. Who did this? Who's eating mountains? I'm very mad about it. All right, let's go through our bushes. I'm gonna collect some of these mushrooms. We're gonna start the game tripping. Stay trippy, stay trippy. Let's get some of that psilocybin. Is that a lizard? Come back. The lizard just disappeared. It's a phantom. Lizard phantom. You know, I've played this game quite a few times, yet I don't really remember how to be good at combat. So I'm probably gonna be very bad, <laughs> even at the beginning combat. No, I did not play on master mode. I am not that good of a gamer. I am here more for the atmosphere and for the jokes and memes than the difficult experience. I think collecting all the Koroks and beating shrines blind is gonna be a hard enough experience for me. Oh, <laughs> my branch lit on fire in the cutscene. Bye. Wait, where are you rushing off to now? Is speaking with an Strange old man, truly such an awful use of your time? What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Yo, thank you for complimenting my eyes. Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be simply coincidental, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Damn, it is the birthplace, I was right. This is the womb of Hyrule. Master mode or busts? Nah, sorry, I'm not a master mode guy. I'm not about it, maybe someday in the future. That day is not today though. I want to enjoy this 100% playthrough without getting frustrated too badly. It's the old temple of time. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. How come all of the text in Zelda games has to be so low? I wish it was a little bit higher so I could look forward, but no, I have to look like down to read this. What a kind old man, let's take his torch. Let's go light some stuff on fire. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? To set things on fire, baby? I'm an arsonist. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon if need be. <laughs> However, do not just swing it around without purpose. Damn, this guy is full of instructions. Can you just let me be, sir? Can he equip my torch? <laughs> <laughs> He's so on edge. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just be taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling. Why is he pulling my leg? <laughs> Look at my my torch. It looks like I'm setting his hair on fire. <laughs> an apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. He did just say succulent, didn't he? <laughs> I love how he stands up. So on edge. What's happened to him to make him so on edge? All right, well, we light it on fire first. Can I burn a tree down? I think we can let the grass on fire, right? Oh yeah. Link is just here to watch the world burn. I made an updraft. Blows all my clothes off. Link just discovering fire. Ooh ha ha. Link. Who that? Who that bitch? Point marked on the map in your slate. Why can't I move when you're talking to me? It's like Vecna from Stranger Things. Just completely controls my mind. Okay, I will not jump off this because I know that I will get a Korok seed and I do not want to do that right now. 
I'm gonna be holding off on those and going through it speedrun style. Okay, not speedrun style, but I will be like doing each area of the map separately and having a list and like doing it clean, you know? Keeping it organized. Maybe edit them together into some fun but informative compilations. Oh, do they appear on the map when I collect them? Maybe I could go ahead and collect the ones that I see. And I'll just write them down off camera. I think with some off-screen planning, I can collect the ones I went to now. So here we go. First of, is it 900? I think so. Yo, bro, why the long face? You're not heads. Excuse me, that's not the way to greet somebody. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hetsu, please return this to him. <laughs> what if he gave me a, like a dildo? <laughs> First quest of Breath of the Wild, return Hetsu's dildo. <laughs> oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Did he just give me full clearance to be as sus as I possibly want? Okay, I see a sword up here. This is totally mine. Damn, it's rusty. I can't use it because I didn't get my tetanus shot. Whoa, there's some there's some rocks I can blow up right here. I don't think I've ever blown up this wall before. I've never noticed that. I don't have bombs. First time I notice it, and it's like the one time in the game I don't have bombs. Okay. They just spoil that is the Temple of Time? Are you kidding me? Well, it was actually cool because in Age of Calamity. Whoa, uh. Let's go with the rest of Broadsword. Ow! <laughs> Give me your club. I don't, know, I don't know why you're hating from my side of the club. You can't even get in! <laughs> okay, we got the horn. First, first item of many. But in Age of Calamity, since it takes place a hundred years before this game, a lot of the a lot of the levels take place in the Temple of Time. But it's not destroyed. That's like the thing I love about Age of Calamity is like all the environments are way more robust because the world hasn't been destroyed yet. And there's lots of really cool cutscenes that like showcase the world as well. If I was to play Age of Calamity on stream, should I do it while I'm playing Breath of the Wild and kind of like infuse it in or wait until I'm done with Breath of the Wild? Did I just get more trousers? Is that the, oh, but they're, they're better trousers. They're a bit more khaki. Oh, it broke. That did not last long at all. So that's the biggest problem people have with this game, as far as I'm concerned, is the weapons break way too fast. And I have to kind of agree. The fact that we just got that sword and we were able to kill one Bacoblin and then like, we couldn't even break one barrel after killing a Bacoblin. Like that's, that's sad. Really sad. Ooh, we got screwed. I'm gonna go through this window. Wait, if I shoot it with a slingshot, will I get a red rupee? Doesn't this kind of look like Zelda's room? Not a look, like just this little area right here. Looks like Zelda's room in Hyrule Castle in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I really hope we get stronger durability in the next game. We don't need to be switching items as much as Nintendo was forcing us to in this game. Like, I like the durability concept, but not when it's so crappy. Like, it's so unrealistic is the problem. Like, what sword breaks after two minutes? <laughs> like, that's not how swords work. We don't need to be switching that much. Since I don't have a sword anymore, I have to kill them with the pot. I pressed the wrong button to throw. It's one of those games that makes you press R to throw. Oh, no. He's too good at dodging. Here. This is gonna work. 
I'm gonna, I must work. Damn it, he's so, so good at this. Opal? Whoa! <laughs> the commitment. Dang, no, I'm gonna make this work. Ow! I, I can't die. Not like this. Please work. Why is this so difficult? Let's back up. Stop moving. I, I need to know if this is possible. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Axe it is. Drop his weapon. Good. Let's go throw it at him. Bye, bitch. Yeah, and it broke. Very nice. Okay, now I want to peacefully open this chest. I hate trying to open chests when there's enemies all on my dick. Get these bacoblins off of my dick. This is so sad. Seeing the walls just crumble down in the temple of time. This is a holy place and it has been disrespected. Second. Volcano looking pretty sick in the background though. With a guide online, Breath of the Wild is an easy 100%. And so Breath of the Wild isn't a game that is too difficult to 100%. It's just, it's a commitment. It takes a long time. You have to really just invest your time and you have to be pretty organized, I would say as well. I have a lot to learn about this game. Like I said, I've only done like 50% of what this game has to offer. Another reason I need to play it is because I want to do Breath of the Wild randomizer, but I legitimately feel like I don't know the game, like the base game well enough to play a randomizer in a way that feels genuine. I need to like actually make content on the base game first, I feel, because like every other Zelda game I've done randomizers on, I've actually made content on in YouTube at some point over the past 10 years. But not Skyward, uh, not Skyward. I mean, I've been doing a Let's Play of Skyward Sword. Um, but not, yeah, Breath of the Wild is like the only Zelda game on my channel that I haven't touched nearly enough. I guess I didn't make content for Minish Cap either. That's fine. Whoa. Skyward of the Wild. Now all the Zelda games, all their names just start to like mix together after a while. Okay, this isn't this, this isn't the best spot right now. Get rid of him! Whoa! Give me that sword. That's a pretty decent sword. Traveler sword. That's better than what I have right now. Arrow. Can I do it? Aw. Oh. I'm just taking the arrows after shooting at me and shooting them right back. Oh my gosh. There we go. That did nothing. Nope. Ah! Fall! He hit me out of the air! Damn! That, like, knocked me back so far! Let's try this again. Bah, bah, brah. That's what I'm talking about. Give me your Baco bow. stocked up on arrows and if you guys haven't noticed yet I'm gonna be taking my time as I play this game I'm gonna be really immersing myself into it and just like truly just enjoying the game for what it is you know I'm not gonna be rushing I'm not gonna be trying to 100% it quickly I'm gonna be exploring it pretty deeply and just trying to have just lots of fun natural genuine moments and just see what happens I want to learn as much as I possibly can about this game. Like, I want to be a Breath of the Wild expert by the end. Let's go ahead and kill these fools. Oh! <laughs> that was a crazy sequence of events. I'll come in here and steal their meat. Don't mind if I steal the steak. Okay, we got the steak. It's just a giant pile of bones. That's a pretty nasty detail. Gross, that's... How many animals did they kill to get that many bones? 
God damn. Butterflies over the water. And just butterflies just out over some random cobblestone. They have really nice ground textures in this game. They're not super detailed, but they're all like small. Like they're all detail oriented, but the resolution isn't very high. Like it works. Okay, I wanna try to do this the right way. Let's try to be sneaky. I wanna shoot this rope inside the eye. I might need to get closer. I don't want the guy in the stand to see me. And... Oh! <laughs> Killed everybody inside. Oh wait, somebody inside didn't die. I see a health bar in there still. Oh my lord. How did they not notice me? Shoot him in the butthole. Yeah, right in the butthole. Right in the dick. <laughs> I made him shut up real quick. He's out. Oh, he heard the scream. Oh, let's hide behind the edge. I want to peek in. Who's in there? How, how are they still alive? Oh, it's a dark bacoblin. He's guarding the treasure. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I did not mean to use my bow. <laughs> I was trying to use my my shield. <laughs> no, not my first death. <laughs> no. See, this is why I'm not playing master mode. I'm already dying to the cobblins at the very beginning. Damn. I expected better for myself. There's a lot of work to be done. A lot of... Thank you guys here. I need to have you guys here with me. You guys have been here with me, haven't you? Nice. All right. Take two. That was not it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We gotta duck down. We gotta get into our duck dynasty. I can't believe this dude inside here survives these explosions. What a full-on shad. Can I headshot him? Oh no, that didn't work. Headshot! Oh, baby! That is what I'm talking about. Okay, let's... Did he set his club on fire? Absolute mad lad. Oh! I just bonked his face into the ground. Damn, he has so much life! I need a much better weapon for this. I'm not having it. He's, he set himself on fire with his own weapon. <laughs> he was trying to hurt me with the fire and it just complete backlash. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't touch that. <laughs> what if I touched the fire and died right after him at the same spot? Like, fortunately, I'm not that much of a dumbass. Watch this be an ice trap and it freezes me and kills me. <laughs> fire arrows. That's ironic. That's really ironic. Can I pick this up? I was kind of afraid to pick it up because it was on fire. I'm like, what if it kills me? Okay, where's that Sheikah slate? I need to look at it. Can't I set a, a waypoint? Open adventure log. I have an adventure log. That's so cool. Yeah, this game makes me want to buy an iPad. Link is one of those bougie kids who comes to school with an iPad. No, his parents are real estate agents. They make real good money. They can afford it. Can I get this chest down in the water? I don't think I can get this yet. Because Link can't swim down in this game. Oh, bless me. Who are Link's parents? I think it's the Dinklebergs. Link needs the silver scale. 
I want him to be able to dive down. This is blasphemy. I'm very mad about it. I'm gonna be writing a letter to Nintendo, and they're gonna be getting an earful of what I have to say. Where am I heading towards? Is it this big pile of rubble right before me? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the very first time I played this game, I think somehow, I don't remember how, but I turned off the Sheikah Slate. I'm pretty sure that's a thing you can do, right? Options. HUD mode, pro. What do you guys think? Should I play without the mini-map in the corner? Or do you guys like the mini-map? Should we have more stuff on the overlay or less stuff? We made it. What's here? What am I looking for? Oh. It's another one of these. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. I guess it's just called the pedestal. Yeah. Just a weird pedestal that you can put your bionic slate into. Does anybody else have a Sheikah Slate? Like, why is Link the only one who gets these? It's because he's chosen. That's why he's got these gauntlets and his wrists are looking frozen. Like falling rocks, what are they talking about? Uh. What's, what's good? What's good? The earth shaketh. The squirrels tremble! The birds scurry! The big goblins are frightened! They clench their little butt cheeks! Which you can see clearly because they wear nearly nothing to cover their butts. Aw, oh, damn. We just gave... We just gave Hyrule the biggest throbbing boner it's ever had. I told you, everyone's attracted to Breath of the Wild. Hyrule, like, literally couldn't help it. It bricked up in a second. <laughs> We've done it. The throbbing masses are back. Yes! Link is shaken. He doesn't know what just happened. He's just thankful to be alive at this point. The Great Plateau Tower. Yo, this is that Smash Bros stage. You guys have heard of Smash Bros, right? Distilling local information. Okay, what business does Nintendo have using a word like distilling in this context? Excuse you? Come on, Nintendo, why do you always have to be trying to use fancy vocabulary? I'm still kind of thankful for it because I feel like I've learned a lot of words through playing Nintendo games, but still. You see, this is the throbbiest mass that we're on? Yeah, this mass is pretty throbby. You're <laughs> These are my two kids, Robbie and Throbby. Regional map extracted after it's been distilled. Okay. I don't want my map like I like my IPA beers. Sakurai played this far into the game and to decide what he wanted to make the map out of. Sakurai is dedicated to the, to, to the grind. For the past 100 years. For the past... 100 the beast when the beast I'm a good sleeper true power, this world I must have taken a lot of edibles or something <laughs> I greened out for a long time then they're done that Ooh. dude that's scary my controller will not stop vibrating <laughs> like I just you want to shove it in my asshole link. There we go. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. I was gonna say or what, but I guess that's a pretty good reason to hurry. I'm not sure what it being too late mean. But three days grace told me it's not too late. It's never too late. Okay, can I get the ultimate challenge? Trying to climb down the Sheikah Tower with one fourth of a heart left. Good freaking luck. Let's see how this goes. Ah! No. No. No, we're good. We're good. I'm not worried. I love the sound of Link's feet landing on these platforms. Ho! He just called me a hoe. He called me a hoe! I think you freaky 
I like you a lot? My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. The fuck is an enigma? This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? No. Ooh. You need not conceal the truth from me. Truth be told, I saw the whole thing unfold from afar. You saw nothing, dude. Get, get, get the heck out of here with your lantern stick. Although I could not hear anything, I did see you react as if you had heard something coming from the direction of the castle. No, I saw the gigantic beast swirly thing, I guess. Yeah, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, you hit the dick on the head. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No, I did not. I've been asleep for a hundred years. I don't recognize anything. I don't even recognize myself at this point. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom Hy of Hyrule to ruin. It suddenly appeared and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, just managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Yeah, he's been working on his strength. And when it mm. says, oh, look, he has a pretty eyeball. Look at how pretty his eyeball is. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Mm. Is there Dave and Buster's <laughs> around here? I'd rather go there. You need not say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination within. God damn it. I hate having this God-given purpose. Oh, this is a cool shot. Stunning that foe. Yeah, running that foe. <laughs> True. Shoot at that foe. Bring him down to the foe. I'ma leave him more dead than a reed dead. Yeah, I'ma run to the town for a new threat. Now nah, I won't take it, girl. I can tell you need more head. Yeah, yeah.